Okay guys, today we'll be solving this network diagram. If you see I was drawing over here, and we're gonna try and find the general flow pattern. So let me give you a background on this real quick. These dots labeled in red are called junctions or nodes. And pretty much these lines are called branches. This can be applied to many different fields of study. You can think of it as a sort of a traffic flow, where these are one-way streets and you're trying to find, I don't know how many cars per mile come through each of these sectors or such as X1, X2, X3. So we're gonna to try to find a general flow pattern. So, let me begin. Okay, first of all, we have how many nodes? We have one, two, three, four, we have five nodes. Our first node being a, B, C, D, and E. Okay. And we're going to try to, okay, the main rule for this, for any network diagram, is that total outflow has to equal total inflow. There may not be a realistic situation, but when it comes to the network diagram, that, that's a constraint that has to be met. So, pretty much, we have 230 going out, we have two, 230 going in. So let's call this flow in and let's call this flow out. So first of all, let's start at node A. There's node A over here. 30 goes into node A and X2 goes into node A. So we're gonna say 30 plus X2 Now, what flows out of node A? 80 flows out and X1 flows out. So we're going to say 80 plus X1 equals, of course. Okay, now, now we go to node B. Node B is over here. What flows into node B? X3 flows into node B and X5 flows into node B. So we're going to say flows in, we're going to say x3 plus x5 equals what flows out of node B. What flows out of node B is x2 and x4. So we're going to say x sub 2 plus x sub 4. Now we're going to node C. What flows into node C? x6 and 100. So we're going to say x6 plus 100 equals what flows out of node C. What flows out of node C is 40 and uh, x5. So 40 plus x5, x sub 5. When I say x5, x2, I mean x sub 5, x sub 4. So uh, now node D, what flows into node D? We have x4 and we have 40. So we're gonna say x4 plus 40 equals what flows out of node D, which is 20 plus x3. So what flows out of um, D, we have, um, oops, yeah, it's, I'm sorry, what flows out of node D is going to be 90 and um, x6, sorry. So I'm going to say x6 plus 90. Now node E. What flows into node E? Looks like 60 and x1. So we're going to say 60 plus x1. What flows out of node E? We're going to say looks like x3 flows out of it and 20 flows out of it. So we say 20 plus x3. And our final constraint, as I mentioned earlier in the video, is that total inflow has to equal total outflow. So 230 flows in has to equal 230 flowing out. And I get 230 by just adding these adding these constants as they fall in, adding these constants as they fall out, should equal 230 equals 230. 
Okay, so now we have a system, a linear system over here. So our next step is to is to subtract these and give them all on one side. But the rule for this is that x1 always has to be positive. So in other words, when you're looking at these subunits, you have to um, go from least least to greatest. So whichever whichever one is least here, we're talking about the subunits, that has to stay there and everything else has to come towards that. So like for example, like for this one we have we have um, x3 plus x5 we have x3 plus x4. Since we have an x2 over here, and the two over here is less than the five and the three, this has to come over here. So you're going from ascending to to descending, whatever the terminology is. So let me go ahead and erase this. So we're going to say x1 minus x2 plus 0x3 plus 0x4 plus 0x5 plus 0x6 equals negative 50. So as you see, I have to account for what I'm missing in my original system because this was for the first node, right? In the first node, we didn't have an x3, we didn't have an x4, we didn't have an x5, we didn't have an x6, so we still have to account for that because the matrices counts for all entries. So you have to put every single one. And over here I'm going to put 0 x1 plus x2 minus x3 plus x4 minus x5 plus 0 x6 equals 0. Now over here I'm going to put, so this is, this is for that node A, right? This is for the node B. Now this is for node C. Okay, it looks like we're about to run out of time, so I'm going to continue this problem on the next video. So just go to the video right after this, and the problem continuation should be there.